What sounds can you hear and how are they made? This is a story about a boy who wants to learn to whistle. The title of this story is Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. We have read other books in our class that um, has been written and illustrated by this same author. The Snowy Day is one that some of you may have already taken an AR test on and read. Um, There's also Peter's Chair is also an AR book some of you may have read um, as well. I want you to see all the different things that this little boy does to um, to try to learn a whistle. And I'm sure some of you, we even talked about in our classroom earlier in the year about whistling. And I'm sure that some of you, um, even now, you're practicing whistling as we are talking about it. So listen to the story about this little boy. I want you to think after each page what the little boy is doing on each page to learn to whistle. I want you to think about how he feels as he is doing those things. When he, um, it, does he feel happy at the beginning of the story? Does he feel sad? And then at the end, I want you to think, does, do his feelings change um, about whistling at the very end of the story? Whistle for Willie. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around, around, and around. He whirled faster and faster. Think about how you feel when you whirl around in a circle faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Is this the way you feel when you have spun around in circles? Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I could whistle, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. It was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Hmm, how do you think this makes Peter feel? Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line right up to his door. He stood there and he tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. How do you think Peter feels now? Have you ever played with colored chalk and made a design on the sidewalk? He went into his house and he put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still no whistle. Why do you think he put his father's hat on? When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, Why, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for him, said Peter. Do you think Peter's mom knew it wasn't his dad? Do you think she was playing along? I used to do the same with my girls when they would pretend to be spies or princesses or whatever, and they wanted me to think that they were really that. It's fun to pretend, isn't it? First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk, and then he tried to run away from his shadow. 
That's fun. Have you ever tried to run away from your shadow outside? He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? What do you think he's going to do? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. And suddenly, out came a whistle. Willie stopped. He looked around to see who it was. <gasps> Did it happen just like Peter was hoping it would? It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Do you, how do you think Peter felt now? Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Do you think they were proud of him? Do you think he's proud of himself? Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there, and he whistled all the way home. Is this how you feel when you learn to do something new that you do it over and over again? Because it feels so good to be able to learn how to do what you want to do. This is a picture of the author. Ezra Jack Keats. It says, Ezra Jack Keats sold his first painting when he was eight years old. When he grew up, he created many books for children. He used cut out paper and a special type of paste to make the bright pictures. He won many awards for his work, but he was most pleased by letters from children who had read his books.